and um Attractive could take you down through there too. Exactly. But I'm just not saying that, you know, a one, you know, I've I, I been trying to make it seem like, you know, when I'm t talking and when I'm speaking, I'm trying to make sure that I'm trying to say, you know, what I'm exactly, exactly trying to say. Because these people are alive and you can't change what you say on live because okay. they're going to take it and they're going to run with it. So you got to try to make it seem, seem like that. Whatever you're talking about and you're speaking upon, that you speak of the real truth. Yeah. Just like I have an issue that's going on with these people out here that's talking about Miss Nella don't respect black yeah. women. Miss Nella don't like black women. That's untrue, baby. Let me tell you something. 90% of my followers is black women. Do you understand that? Right. And I respect and I love all black women. Okay? I, I, I respect black women, white women, Latino women, Chinese women, whoever woman it is. But I go when I go for somebody that comes for me, right. I don't care what race you is. I don't care if you're a man, woman, Hispanic, or whatever the fact may be, I'm gonna come for your ass. Exactly. And it is what it is. But you know what? The thing about it, when people talking about Miss Netta don't like black women, that is a total lie. Yes. My fan base is 90% of black women, whether they young, old, children, or whatever. That, that That's a lie. I love my black women. I love white women. I love Hispanic women. I love Chinese women. I love anyone. That's right. Anybody that comes to me disrespectfully, I'm going to disrespect for you. I don't care what race, what gender you are, or whatever. Don't come with me disrespectful, and I won't come with you disrespectful. Right. We just out here, and we just out here in the eyes, and we just trying to do what we trying to do. Right. So, you You know, yes, we love each other. Yes, you need some love. I mean, because if you're worried about what we got going on, do what we got going on, because this is real. All this other fake stuff, y'all sitting here watching us and watching us, you know, success going up because it's going up yeah. for the little 15 minutes of fame they keep talking about baby it's 15 minutes it's been 15 days it's gonna be 15 months and maybe it might be even 15 
15 Man, years. Okay. Okay. It's, been, it's been long. It's been over three years. We've been, we've been popping. You've been popping. You've been popping. Pop. It's like now, like when it comes to TikTok, we just match on each other. If we was if we was popular on TikTok probably about two years ago, I guarantee you we'd be the, the shit that's going on now, we'll be jumping now. Two times harder. So yeah. Y'all y'all inspired to hear the shoulder board just enough. That's part of why I like to be transparent with y'all relationship. Yes, well of course. You know, like I said, if 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 it takes a book for me to write, if it takes me recipes for me to to make if hell, guess what? We even got an alcohol beverage coming out. If it even takes alcohol beverage for me to get through to some of these women that how to treat a man and try to keep a man, it is what it is. Everybody know my sexuality. Everybody know I'm not 100% one. Everybody knows that. But my thing about it is I am 46 years old. I'm 47. And I, my whole life has been what I have been living. You know, so you can't tell me, I can't speak on what a woman got going on because this is how I live my life the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So like I tell people that, okay, yes, I have never been out like this, made up and dressed up and stuff like that. I haven't, it's been a, it, it took a long time for me to come out. And it ain't about coming out, it's just that I never felt comfortable in women's clothes and stuff. But my name and my character on this social media site is Miss Nella. Yes. So this is Miss Nella. Yes. Joe Robinson is what you might want to see and what you're going to see in my hometown. Because everybody already know my name and it's not a big deal of who my name is uh-huh. and who Rolanda's name is. It's not a big deal. We never came out to hide anything from nobody, okay? Right. Right. It's just that we, our parts was Miss Nella and Charles. Right. And that's what we wanted to be respected and look at them because this is what we got going on. Exactly. So Mr. Netta and all that uh, 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 what what they say? Radio and all that other stuff. That's not our name. Our name is Miss Netta and Charles. Okay? Yes. So if that's if anybody wanna call us somebody, something, they can call us that. Also well, I look at y'all like love. Like when I first saw you so y'all made I don't remember what it was TikTok. I think it was TikTok. It was TikTok. And then when I saw you on TikTok, I'm like, I want to find her Instagram page. But right. I like Instagram more than TikTok. Okay. I got to get better. And I was I was literally deliberately looking for you, right? Okay. So I do a lot of business on social media. Okay. I've, I've made over 39 individual millionaires that I met on social media right. in the last nine years. Okay. And so I'm all about helping people to evolve and be money and be happy. Right. I believe in success, totally, mind, body, spirit, finances, relationships. So I'm really genuinely having a conversation with right now when the cameras happen to be rolling. So I will tell you that this is a successful plus podcast where we uh, humanize the rich and successful, right? Okay. While we're building their success shortcuts. So what I fell in love with about you all is your ability to embrace your authenticity unapologetically. When a person loves who they are and they don't even fuck with nobody thinking about them, I love those people. Yeah. Because I know it takes a lot of work to get it does. I'm talking about suicidal thoughts, depression, I never had that, but I did. We are, I ain't gonna lie. I kinda at one point, but, you know, I just, I was back in high school. Right, but I had to do some shit, so it's just something that I spent, and I just know that, regardless of what you there, it ain't tougher. Because, let me tell you something, when I'm on the internet, I get all the best things, and all of everything on the internet. Matter. I don't know it what I don't know where your resources at, but you, you 
matter. It doesn't even matter. I'll say this, it don't it don't matter. It, and I don't want And the reason why people. I'm gonna say it doesn't matter yeah. is because I'm not gonna make the people that's saying the negative stuff exactly. a factor, that, okay? That's what so I'm, I'm not gonna give them that's a pleasure I'm and yes. I'm not gonna give them none of that. But like I said, if I mention people that that hater and hating to, towards us, them those people, they're gonna wanna go, they're gonna look up those people. But other than that, baby, it doesn't even matter. So the people love you that I know. Right. And I know we we know a lot of people that love us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Including me, so I love y'all. And we love you too. So having y'all on a perfect storm yeah. for me yeah. is like, like y'all family to me. Yeah. I want to you know, just to know, know like yeah. to have such feminine energy like you have, you're very okay. feminine. Okay. 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 What questions See, do you have? Let, 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 let me let me go ahead and say that okay. because that's that's like a lot. Sorry, y'all. Feminine energy. I had to move. She bring more to the table than most of these women out here today. Guess what? Most of them are worried about what can a man bring to the table, especially black men. We'd be, we're pretty much, what's this called? What is it called? Demonized. Damn. When it comes to that, wow. most black men are demonized on when it comes to what can he do for us. That's when it comes down to. It. You know what I'm saying? That is so good. And then when you deal with guys who gotta work harder than you, then yeah, you got a problem. See, that's the problem. Most, but like I said, most, 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 you know what I'm saying, most modern, like I said, most modern women got a problem with it, but someone like Miss Dana, hey, guess what? You know what I'm saying? She's more a housewife than most of these modern women out here. So what's that's sad, that, that's the sad part about it. But, you know, other than that, yeah, go ahead. No, I appreciate y'all, because we, we get it out to y'all. So you're very feminine, you have a lot of feminine energy. I do. And Like, oh my god, I like, you can cook a little bit. So I was like, oh my god, like, I, I didn't have a hey, man. So, so he didn't mind catering to you? Yeah, as well. And so well, I was like, like this. Okay, I don't mind cooking. Yeah. You didn't mind cooking, yeah. you say? Yeah, that was, that was it. Besides yeah. working, I was good at cooking. But it's just the beauty of it. That's, that's but he always process. maintained employment with me and him was together. Somewhere. Always. I just started. You said somewhere. Yeah. 
Well, before I met you, I fucked. My, my life was fucked. <laughs> but the like, thing about it is, it's, it's, okay, the thing about the time, it. By the time I moved back to the small town and, and came across you, you know what I'm saying, it was kind of decent. Kind of smooth sailing. Right, right. You know so where are you from originally? I'm from Birmingham, but I was raised in Silicon. You were raised where? In Silicon. Silicon. Uh, it's a small town. I'm where are you from? I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Saint I was, uh -huh. I was uh, raised in Silicon and I, I moved to Cleveland, Ohio. I stayed there for 14 years. Wait, wait, wait. Because he yeah. did that. So give it a second. Give it a second. got a guy who's working harder than you, sometimes you gotta take advantage of it. You gotta learn how to know your place. That's the best thing. It's not a bad you thing. When you when you're dealing with a guy who gotta work harder than you, you gotta know how to know your place. It may it may sound harsh, but you gotta think about it from his perspective. You gotta think about it like this here. A man who works harder than you gotta take more bull crap than you. He gotta put up with more than you. He gotta go through far hardship than you. Mind you, a man like me, I'm a steel mill worker. I can die or get fucked up any day from what I do. Last thing I need is someone, that, you know what I'm saying? Last thing I need is a modernizing one. It's give me problems. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the least. Right. All right, give me that. So I don't get your exactly. problems. Don't you give me, if my life is, yeah. if I'm working a job that, that put my life on the line, I don't need no bull crap yeah. That's how it is. Find your man like that, and you'll be successful. Okay. It may sound harsh, right. but it's the truth. It's reality. People don't want that. They're not ready to. They ain't ready for that. That's but true. it is what it is. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I could die any day, or my legs. Mind you, I, I damn near fucked up both my ACLs for my job. Right. Last thing I need is bull crap. You get what I mean? Women be nagging. Women add, be add value to a man's Disrespect life, and you'll be all right. Add value to a man's life. When, like I said, deal with a man that works harder than you, you'll be all right. Know your place and you'll be all right. I love my husband. Yes. If he, like I talk. said, if you know he can die any day or fuck his life up any day, know your place. That's all, that's it. That's it's it. simple. That's it, baby. It's simple. That's good. I, I, I love that because it's the truth. And I've, Cook, and I've clean, and live by any means. I that's all. Cook, clean, and live by any means. No. That's, what he, said. Live, live, that's live. what he said. That's what he said. That's what he said. He be dropping bars. I like what he said. He be dropping bars all week. I love it. Less nagging, more, you know, but either way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give me some Charles. I'm I'm listen, I'm just I'm saying, saying. All week. I'm, I promise y'all. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, and it's true. And I finally have that kind of relationship with someone that treats me back. How really? I but I, I needed to understand the treating the man. Yeah. Deserve to be treated. Look, I'm, I'm telling look, you that, but like you know what? I I go I go um, above and beyond. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I go above and beyond is because this man right here, he does everything exactly. I ask or everything I want. You know what I'm saying? Right. And if you would just do what you're supposed to do right. and just to please your man, right. people don't realize that. If you please your man and you make your man satisfied and then what you do, your man ain't going to go do them, right. them foolish ways that you think that it you got going on. on. You you know deal, it depends on who you deal with because every man ain't perfect. Well, I understand that. But what I'm saying is if they want what I got or they want what we got, right. then they're going to have to, they're going to have to, they just have to. They're, know they're, their place, basically. Step to that feminine power. Exactly. Know their place. 
They don't some realize, of the things you got, you got to suck up some of the things that you got. You got, you, you got thing, they don't realize how powerful feminine energy is. That's why. But when they learn to get in their feminine energy, they learn. But until then, they're not going to know. You got to teach them. Because he don't tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? But I do what I want to do because this is my husband and I love my husband. You know what I'm saying? So I this, that's what I do what I want to do. He don't tell me what to do and he don't force me to do what I got to do. He don't do that. And I don't do that for him. A lot of people, that's what I'm saying. They, a lot of people, they look at me like, oh, you run Charles and Charles. Did. You know, no, I do not. Charles have his own. You, you have it people on back. When you have critics online, did you answer them back? I was. Uh, I at was. One point, you did. I was. At one point. But see, my thing about that situation is that at the end of the day, whatever I say or whatever I answer back to them, it's not going to mean anything. So I just leave it alone. Yeah, I was going to say, why you waste your time with that? So I'm never, not. Don't read comments. I'm not. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, I read them, it's like but I don't TMZ. respond to them. Yeah. I just and laugh and at them. Unless you enjoy it. Yeah. Read it for entertainment purposes only. Get into your subconscious mind, you start. It's going. Like, you gotta think about it. Like yeah, I get, I get shitted on a whole lot, and guess what? I still don't let it. Go. I still don't let it get past me because at the end of the day, I'm a little bit more successful than everybody. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a little bit more successful. What we got going exactly. on? They want. I'm more. I'm a little bit more successful than most guys out here that talk shit about me. They most of them ain't got a pot to piss in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the winner throw it out of it. Most of them ain't got a shit. They ain't got a sandbox of shit in. So what makes y'all excited about that? Come on, man. What is it? What's exciting? What's exciting to y'all? What's exciting to y'all? You know, regardless if you're waking up every day with fame or whatever the fact may be, just waking up every day. Because, you know, a lot of people, especially my age, I ain't old or nothing like that, but especially my age, people didn't wake up, you know, the next morning. And, I, and, and I'm just blessed to wake up every day, you know. Regardless of what I got going on or what I'm doing or how people judge me or whatever that may be, that may be I'm just happy to just wake up every day. Yeah. Most um, girls I know, they ain't waking up. You know what I'm saying? They, they disappear like it ain't young. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm out there for them. I want to live my life like anybody else. I'm trying to live long enough. I'm trying to live like my granddad. He'll live long enough to be 91. I'm trying to see that. Most of these the guys can't get that luxury. Like, most of them too young and dumb to realize that. But me, I'm one of those guys that was nothing to be like, you know what? I'm not gonna be with this dumb shit, so. And the reason I might why I got Charles, the Charles yeah. like five years old, and I'm almost here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm gonna need somebody to help me out pretty soon along the way. So but anyway, most, of, like, most guys our age, we, we're not living. Do you think y'all focus more on the negative things in life? Uh -uh, really no, I'm more of a positive. I'm trying not to, you know what I'm saying, keep my mind on the negative because it's bad enough I lost a cousin and I'm not trying to keep my mind negative. You know what I'm saying? I gotta relive a nightmare every other month or every other week or month. The last thing I need is that. But other than that, I just live my live my life by the pulley. You know what I'm saying? I ain't out here doing dumb crap or nothing, so I'm I'm trying to do what's right. Wow. Yeah, I got me, I had a big wedding. Somewhere. We didn't have a, we got married, we got married at the courthouse. Yeah. Did have a wedding? But we had a wedding, and the wedding's gonna be on the show. Yeah. Oh, so that's why I keep telling everybody, we got a show, a reality show coming out uh, this month with Omar. Yeah, we're gonna be with the, uh, the Monday. 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 Well, you can, can talk about this show when it's coming out and stuff, but the things that's going on the show, it's like, you never know, this, this right here might be a part of the show, too. Yeah, when is it coming out? It's coming out at the end of March. This year? This year. What? We're working on the reality show as we speak now, and like I just said, we don't even know this part right here might be a part of the show. Who knows? You know, we are, we film it as we spend it now. That's why we got camera people and stuff like that, just like you got your camera people and stuff. We're going to... We, we doing stuff for part of our show. And it'll be in the, the, the end of March, we have a sh reality show called The Montgomery. And uh, it's going to be reality, so it's going to be about how we are alive and what's going on. So anybody that, you know, this part kept withholding a lot of information. Well, a lot of information still got out, you know, but I've been holding a lot of information because due to the, our reality TV show, it's because we want people to come and watch. So. 
some of the things that people questions and stuff like that. That's what yeah, find out on the show. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah find out go. on the show. They ain't gonna know unless you watch. So show. that's why we. That's why a lot of things that we got going on that um, with uh, podcasts and stuff like that, we just we don't ask a lot of questions because what's we the want biggest podcast y'all been on? Who's the biggest podcast y'all? Shay Room. Yeah, oh, Shay Room podcast. Yeah. Well, the Shay Room is not a podcast, but we did sit down and talk to. Um, what was his name? I forgot Jason something. I forgot. I forgot. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot his name. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I didn't even know they had a Shade Room. Show. It's yeah, like Shade Room yeah. TV. Yeah. Shade room they do TV. like little segments. Shade, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Like 30 minutes. I mean, all you gotta do is get on our Instagram Bell and you'll see it. I'm on y'all Instagram, but I, you know, I, I see it. Valentine's Day. Oh, so it already posted? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's all oh, I gotta see that. Daddy cooked. We was out there eating yeah, I cooked, everything. Uh, I on cooked on the show and everything. What? So they came to your house? Mm-hmm. No, no, we was we there. The we were in Atlanta. Oh, 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 that's amazing. I do a lot of things in Atlanta. So one of the content, uh, content house. Content house. Okay, so y'all got a lot of amazing things. Y'all writing books anytime soon? Uh, I, I, I was cook, thinking cook, about a book cook pretty cook soon. Right but right now, we yeah, focus on the cookbook. That, that catfish, I've been wanting some of that catfish. That stuffed catfish you saw? Yes. Oh, you gonna lie, it's bomb. Was it good? Bomb dot. For com. real? It was crispy for real? Yeah. I don't know why people like, I don't know why people like that. You didn't hear the crunch. I cooked the catfish. I don't know if they thought that somebody else cooked it. I cooked my own food. Okay, Instagram. Yeah, it's, on, Instagram. Yeah, it's on Facebook Live. Yeah. For instance, on Instagram and TikTok, the people on Instagram and TikTok does not know that I cook my own food because I cook my food on Facebook on Miss Nella and Charles' page. And I cook my whole dinner on there. And I come and I make my post to charge your lunch. I'm not going to stay on their ass too long. I'm just going to say this. Joe and Rolandis, you need to stop talking on women's business and think that two big, burly, rusty-ass men can sit there and tell biological women how to keep a man when you both don't even like women, although one of you are trying to cosplay as one. Okay? And secondly, the only reason that the two of you are together is because Joe saw that Rolandis can pay bills and Rolandis saw a way out his daddy's house. Now, clock it. But 
my people, you know how we do. We're going to kick it down in the comments. And that's all for now. Bye.